right, welcome back to another Your Boys Be Stacking episode. I'm Freedom, a.k.a. Justin, with the M9 by Beretta. Let's clear the weapon for you guys. Make sure it's, it is clear. Weapon is on safe. Um, so another, I love the gun. I've shot this mm, probably three to four times. Put about... 150 to 200 rounds through it. Uh, I have no no complaints. Uh, although with this system, this isn't the 92 FS or the 92 or the M9A1 or anything like that. <clears throat> it's just a straight up Beretta M9. Uh, it does have the one of uh, the dot over dot or the uh, one on one system for the sight picture here. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people may prefer it due to the quicker target acquisition. Um, for me, if it was up to me, I would love the two dot in the rear and the one up front. Possibly night sight picturesque here. Uh, every M9 does come with the um, double action feature as well as the decocker. Uh, so if it was up to us, let's say you have the weapon cocked, just so you guys know it is clear. Um, <clears throat> Uh, if you wanted to decock it after a round was in the chamber and or before you chamber a round, you can pull down on the safety, which would essentially roll back the safety, uh, the firing pin, which you could see here, and return that weapon to safe. And then upon pulling it back to, to fire, would go into the double action mode. <clears throat> so... With this gun, uh, I got this pre-owned. Uh, you can buy this gun new, uh, this exact model, probably around six fifty to seven hundred dollars. Pre-owned. I'm probably the second owner of this gun. Uh, the gun shop I I bought it from didn't really specify. I I thought I bought it brand new, but I didn't. Um, came to me about five fifty, uh, but new you could probably get it at 700 the m9a3 when i was at the gun shop uh, they had it for like 1100 to 1200 dollars uh, which is pretty hefty on a price for an m9 but then again uh, i did pay close to 1800 dollars for a 1911 uh, which will be coming up with another video that i have uh, which you guys will see <clears throat> the m9 comes with a uh, 15 to 16 round magazine I had to buy, all these mags I believe are different <clears throat> due to the fact that uh, the manufacturer, or when I bought it, came with uh, one mag and I had to buy two different mags from a surplus uh, box that they had. I do have, uh, this one is chambered in 9mm, <clears throat> I have hollow points by Federal loaded in them. Uh, the It won't, oh there it goes, there it'll focus. Uh, I have that loaded in there. <clears throat> I don't carry this gun per se or personally. I don't have a holster for it. I've just shot it. Uh, it is ridiculously accurate. Um, I have no zero, and by zero I mean absolutely zero complaints about this weapon here. Uh, let me uh, show you how to take this uh, this weapon down here. So you're gonna pull this, push this button over here on the right hand side of your M9. You're gonna push that in. And then on the left hand side, you're gonna pull this lever down. So it, it normally sits, uh, let's see if I can't take care of business here. There it goes. So normally it'll sit like that. You're gonna push this button in and then you're gonna come over on this side and slide this down. The whole slide should push forward just a tad. And you can slide that apart as such. Then you can take this, set that aside. Now, this is the point in which you want to be absolutely careful with. It is not a self-contained recoil spring. Here you can see the guide rod and the recoil spring itself, the barrel. <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to put your thumb on the end of this while you pull the guide rod back decompress that spring slightly there you have your guide rod and your recoil spring we'll put these back together since it's already cleaned and we'll put these 
just over here with the rest of our items here. Now, the barrel. So the beautiful thing about the Beretta is the fact that the barrel will not tilt like most Glocks and or other firearms. So when you are to shoot it, this part right here will come down and the actual um, barrel assembly won't move. Um, I'm not sure how to accurately portray that. I'll show that to you guys later. But in order to take it out, you've got this tilt here, which is shown by this pin here. This pin will move forward and or backwards depending on where the barrel may sit, which will be the anti-tilt mechanism for this weapon. <clears throat> You want to take, pull that forward, which will come apart. Most M9s are chrome lined barrels. And on that note, this may be a pain in the balls. Let's put this top of the slide down. This right here may be the pain in the balls when it comes to putting your M9 back together. As you can see, this one's kind of frozen here and in aligned. Let's see if we can't get this bad boy fixed. There we go. And just like that. So as you can see here, we got the tilt mechanism with the pin. Anti-tilt, I should say. <clears throat> How about we say we put this back together and I'll show you how the anti-tilt mechanism works. We're going to put this... You see these notches and the flanges and or flies right there. We're going to slide this bad boy back inside. Make sure the breech falls up. Make sure the anti-tilt mechanism is there. Take our guide rod, spring in our guide rod back into this hole here. I personally love this gun. If it was up to me and I could carry this on duty with me, I would. Uh, I just don't have a holster for it. My uh, patrol officer first class does have one. He does carry it on duty and he personally loves it. <clears throat> so once you have the slide, the guide rod spring, the barrel and the guide rod back into place uh, correctly, you're gonna take the slide here. Uh, this isn't the best lighting. Uh, and then you're gonna try and line it up with this slide, with this, the notches here. Let's see if I can't get this on camera here without being too retarded here. Beautiful. I'm gonna slide that in. And then, once you're in, cock it back, push that back, boom. And your noise back together. On safe, off safe, it will cock it back, about half cock or quarter cock, which would render the weapon safe. Unless, of course, you are in double action. So, this is my review on the M9 Beretta, <clears throat> made in the U.S., not the Italy factories. The M9 in the Italy factories will have a different assembly number and the different U.S. make numbers here, uh, and maybe a different sight picture. If it was the M9 made in Italy, it should have the three dot system, one dot here, one dot here, and the dot down there. Uh, the sight picture is honestly all user-friendly. Um, and or user oriented. If you do prefer the two or three dot system, uh, I would prefer getting one made in Italy, which may cost you a bit more. But other than that, um, magazine cost for one of these is about around twenty six to twenty eight dollars. Um, <clears throat> the gun itself, I did pay um, around five twenty four. So. If you're looking for a nice carry piece or a home defense piece, the M9 Beretta is it. Feel free to drop your comments and questions down below. Obviously be in there to answer them. Uh, if you guys have a nice day and any questions, like I said, feel free to drop down in the comment box below. Please do subscribe in the upper right hand box and also hit that 
notifications buttons. That way you guys know when we're uploading the next video. My name's Freedom. Thanks for tuning in. We love you. And we'll see you again soon.